In this video, we will review how to run an impact simulation on a Formula One nose cone. In a previous video, we already created the mesh for the nose cone, so we're going to utilize that mesh for this model. We click on the drop test icon and specify an impact simulation and select our nose cone as the body. We will have an impact time of 0.001 seconds. Now that our solution has been created, we can apply the boundary conditions for our scenario. We first specify the velocity impact for the nose cone at minus 1760 inches per second, which is equivalent to 100 miles per hour. And we apply this in the global Z direction. The Z direction is the direction of impact. Next, we apply the impact surface, which will be the bottom face of the nose cone. SimLab also enables users to apply impacts between multiple bodies. But in our case, we just have one body, so we apply a surface where the impact will occur. We can click on the bottom face of the nose cone and apply a frictional coefficient of 0.3. Our last step is to turn on gravity and damping. Gravity will be applied in the global Z direction. SimLab has multiple abilities for damping. In our case, we will utilize a uniform damping value and apply it throughout the entire duration of our simulation. SimLab's impact simulation has a number of solution settings to optimize solve time for explicit impact simulations. In our case, I can check the convergence settings and make any changes to specific time requests or custom result requests like stress, strain, or hourglass energy. Additional controls like mass ratio and scale factors ensure that solution convergence can be achieved on complicated models. In my case, I'm gonna utilize the default convergence settings. To reduce the overall solve time of my model, I'm going to utilize all eight of my processors for the run. Now I can begin solving our simulation. During solving, I can check the log file to see what iteration I'm on. Additionally, I can check the energy balance and kinetic energy to make sure solving iterations are reasonable. Our simulation has successfully run and we can visualize our results now. We can see high stress locations throughout the nose cone as a result of the impact event. We can also visualize explicit results plots like velocity, acceleration, and energies to see various dynamic values. SimLab's integrated post-processing allows users to look at min and maximum values or being able to query and identify any location at the model at any time step. We can see if our nose cone high stress locations occurring near the impact as well as downstream where the fin is bending. Advanced deformation plots allow us to animate and see the effect of the dynamic impact. In our case, we can see the impact occurring and how the stress is getting dispersed throughout our nose cone. To learn more about SimLab or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.